the cops roll up, cut me off. I rolled over, broke the bottle on the car, and apparently I went at them. Because you were, like, blacked out at this point. Still. I was still blacked out, and, bro, they whooped my ass. Like, I mean, they, th they threw me in the back of the paddy wagon and stomped me for, like, a good, like, 10 minutes. Like, oh, you Americans. I've been there. All of a sudden, I hear, doom, 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 like the cops. She lived in a duplex, so her upstairs was a sliding glass door. So her, her front door was a sliding glass door. She gets out and she opens the curtain and it's her ex-husband. And he's like flipping out, like, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna hit you, like, like crazy talk. Then he sees me and he goes on like- That doesn't help. Like level 10 and he's freaking out. And I walk up to the door and I'm like, you don't talk to her like that. And he's like, come out here. And I was like, you want me to come out there? And he's like, <laughs> he's like yeah, yeah. And his face is all like by the door. So I just unlock it and I slide it open and I go, boom, and I just catch him right in the nose, just enough for my fist to fit through. So he kind of like grabs his face. I double leg him, take him down full mount. And I'm like slapping him because I don't want his, like his two kids are inside sleeping. Yeah. Oh, shit. And so I'm like not trying to hurt this dude. But then bro, he grabs me in the balls and twists. Oh God. And I was like. It's against I, the code, man. Bro, I it just is. like my, I felt me just boil and I just lift him up and I held him over this one story balcony. He was like, oh. And the girl, I hear her, she goes, no. So I like step in, I hip toss him. He hits this table, like rolls. I grab him here and here and I walk him to the, uh, the, the flight of stairs and I throw him head first down the flight of stairs and he rolls down and he's just like all like damaged and goes to his car. So <laughs> I move in with this chick 10 days later. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was lost, man. I was, lost. I was not <laughs> expecting that ending. <laughs> 10 days later, I move in with this chick. <laughs> to my house now. She's, she's 38 years old and I'm 19. Man, single it, moms, you dude. Got, you got preyed on a lot. I did, man. <laughs> and <laughs> dude, it was crazy because she was like, wakes up and she's like, I gotta take my kids to school. And, I, and she just leaves me in the house. I'm like, this chick's crazy. These Canadians, bro. I was living with that chick who flew me out and it was like not working out, obviously. You and, two houses. Yeah, and, and I was like, I'm <laughs> setting up franchises. And I was like looking for a place to live and she's like, well, why don't you just stay in my extra room and we'll just tell the kids that I'm uh, running it out to you. You know, six months go by, everything's good. I bought myself a car, you know, I was making two to four grand a week door to door sales, which is nice. cash. And I was 19, so I was like on top of the world. She was like teaching me all the clothes to buy and like just up in my game. And then one day we're just sleeping in bed and about 6 a.m. boom, boom, boom on that door again, like sound like the police. And uh, I was like, man, this dude's back round two. And so I roll up, throw the curtains open in my underwear it's immigration police <laughs> and i was like oh and this dude's been just digging dirt on me and in in between that time i wanted to go home and visit family and just kind of like show them i'm doing good so i flew home and then i tried to i tried to fly back and they stopped me at the border because i had duis and open warrants so they made me stay at the border yeah I, how did you even get into canada because like so i got in a fight in college once beat this kid up got busted for it 15 years later i go to vancouver and they're like i got stopped uh the guy with the machine gun pulls me into a separate room like the the canadian border is notorious for it's hard yeah like even if you have a dui they may not let you in it's i get crazy. stopped every time yeah no yeah. the the first time i was just driving with her and she's like he's gonna be here for a week so sometimes they'll just go like uh. this and then sometimes they'll scan it <clears throat> so the second time i flew back to seattle and i tried taking a greyhound to vancouver and they checked those guys hard. Right. So they checked it out. They're like, you can't come. So I posted up in a hotel. I was like, man, I got to get across. I got my job, my girl. And so I tried to walk across. And they they threw me like in this holding cell. Wait, at the, like at, at the border. So they could see you. You didn't, you weren't like, I'll hike into the woods and try to cross. I went like where no one was in like a field. And I tried walking. And, and they still caught you. Oh, yeah. And like, and <laughs> like horseback. luckily... Luckily, bro, I surrendered right away because there was like there was like these Mexicans there that had been bitten by dogs and stuff. Like, Damn. let the dogs go if you try to run. And they were like, if you try to come back again, it's a mandatory hundred days in jail. Wow. So I called the chick's mom that um, flew me across in the beginning, and she picked me up and drove me across. And I made it. Wow. So when I got stopped by immigration, they found out I tried to sneak across the border. She shows up. I, I had to sit in prison for Thursday, and or in a little jail cell. It was Thursday, Friday was a holiday, so I had to stay there all the way till Monday. And bro, I'm coming up drugs and drinking. I'm freaking out. So I'm like, Ugh. take me to the because by age 17, I forgot to add, I got prescribed Xanax because I was so hyper for I was so uh, like geeked out from the Adderall. I'm still taking Adderall. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking, and I showed these Canadians what I was taking. Like, I went to the doctors. They're like, dude, these Americans are killing you. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Upper or downer, up or downer. Yeah. They're like, are I you know kidding me? Yeah. They're like, you're under 20. Like, and like, I freak out, bro. I'm like, and it was when Brock Lesnar was fighting Cain Velasquez. I'll never forget that weekend. I was on that card. Were you? Yeah. Dang, was it bro. the one at MGM? Huh? No. MGM? It was at uh, Anaheim Honda Center. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Crazy. Never, I'll never and you were in Vancouver. And I was in jail cell in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> so I forced them to take me to the hospital. They gave me my prescription to Xanax. This chick shows up to the courthouse. There's no bail bondsman. She puts 5K cash down. She offered 10K. So she bails me out and I go, I'm driving. I'm just upset. You know, like, dude, I'm, I'm going to lose my job for sure. They're going to deport me. Like, I had everything going at that time. Like, I just felt like I was like done. And so I'm just taking Xanax, like, take me to the bar, tequila shots, and then I go to the house, and I'm looking for my ecstasy that I left there. I don't know how you and walked around and drank and took Xanax. I, like, if I have half a Xanax, I'm putting well, you out. I do coke. So you're basically like... Speedballing. You're in, you're in the passenger seat, <laughs> driving around. The just drugs, a, just the drugs are set in. We'll take it from here. Yeah. You relax. You relax. <laughs> just sit back and enjoy the show. Like, it's, <laughs> it's bad, bro, because, like, and this, the I don't know why I liked it, because in the next morning, you don't remember what you did. Yeah. And it's really scary. Like, I've, I've woke up and looked out, and my car is all parked weird. Yeah. Like, I drove, like, yeah. It, it's, it's really, like, college. it's really a bad, like, I can't, like, rappers that sing about it, like, it's so dumb. So stupid. Um, and then if you don't have anxiety before you take it, you start taking it and quit. You're going to have I, yeah, I get bailed out. I'm at this chick's house, and she's like, "Well, I took those ecstasy pills with my ex while you were locked up, and we had sex all weekend." And I was like, "What?" Oh, and man. I just like trashed her house, didn't touch her or nothing. <clears throat> and she woke up the next morning. Her kids were afraid just because I was yelling. Mm. So she jumps on me full mount and is just teeing off on me. Huh. And I was so like blacked out. I was just like, "Whatever's happening needs to stop." <laughs> and so like I wake up like on her like like holding her down, and she's like, "Stop! I'm gonna call the cops." And so I run in her wine cellar, grab like a $2,000 bottle of wine and just book it towards the beach. The cops roll up, cut me off. I rolled over, broke the bottle on the car. And apparently I went at them and like, thank God I was in America. They would have shot me dead. Yeah. And bro, they, they, cause you were like blacked out at this point. Still. I was still blacked out and bro, they whooped my ass. Like, I mean, they, th they threw me in the back of the paddy wagon and stomped me for like a good, like 10 minutes. Like, oh, you Americans. I've been there. Big time. Knowing that. Shut